Well, today I got all this old plumbing inside the RV, and I'm going to replace it with modern day PEX that you would put in your house because this is all broken up. I'll show you a couple examples of it, and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm here, I'm going to replace all this junk hoses and clips. And if you look in here, I got all this stuff going on. And back of the RV, you can see everything's jury rigged here. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff and change it to PEX. So here's the whole thing. These are the old ones that went up to the sink. These are the new ones. And then I'm going to put a shut off on every bottom like this. Basically, so you can see. Then I'm going to get the PEX. Like this, just like if you're building a house. Put it right in. Put it right in. Like this. So that's it, that's my pieces, red for hot and blue for cold. I'm in the back and I hooked up the hot water so you can get at right there to shut off. And this is gonna go down and it's gonna go down so that if I uh, wanna drain it, it automatically drains. I've been saving the filming uh, until I get under the kitchen sink because I got a lot more room. This, is where the water comes in from the outside when you hook the hose up. And then, up in here under the sink, I got those two things. And I put a little electric water heater in here. This one I got going to the red. And now I'm going to hook up the blue water. And I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to take this from the water heater. And I want to go into the pecs here. So I'm going to cut it first. And when you cut it, you got to use these fancy cutters. And you put it in there like this. And you cut it. So that's out of the way. I'm going to show you it again because i got to cut a little piece for the inside. See, you cut it. And That's that. So now I gotta put it into the T like that. And I'm gonna show you up close. I put that little clip on like that. And then this is the hard part, unless you're laying it on the ground. You gotta get that little notch into that thing right there. I got this on the ground. And I'm tightening it up, right? I'm tightening it up like that. Now, let's say uh, you don't like the way it was done. Then you got to get this like this and snap it. And then it'll come off. You see what I mean? And then I'm going to get this off of here and this off of here. But just so you know, some people do this stuff. They use these clamps and I think... You just tighten it up, but make sure you get a really, really good clamp where you could kind of bolt it down in there and you won't have to worry about it. So now we got to put this in like that. It's going to go in like that. It's going to go up under here. This is going to go like that and put that up against the wall like that. So I got the T hooked up, and I didn't show it to you, but I put an elbow up here. See the elbow, it all works the same way. Uh, I don't like to put anything unless I have to, but I had to. Well, this is where the water is gonna come in. And it's got a rubber thing inside it. You probably can't see it. I'm gonna put this in here because it's gonna have a shut off. And then, tighten that up a little bit, so I could shut the whole thing off, so I could shut the whole thing off from the inside. I'm underneath, I'm underneath the sink, same thing, 
things with the shutoffs are going to hook them up underneath the sink. Every sink's going to have a separate shutoff. So now, I'm just going to put some of these clamps in here, tighten everything up, and then uh, it should stay pretty steady, like that. One. That's two. So I pretty much completed my job and the reason I put all this PEX in and made it like a regular house is because you can't get no parts from anybody. Everything fits and doesn't fit. I can go to Home Depot, I can go to Lowe's, I can go to any hardware store and get these parts. So that's it. This was the old. I, this piece actually snapped off. It's 40 some years old. All these valves are iffy. I change it to the PEX. Probably the only thing I'm going to do now is get a pressure regulator for the hose and uh, get another backflow thing. I just wanted to get it done before the winter hits. I blew all the lines out and in the spring I'll retest it again. So thanks for watching. That's it until another video.